Say hi. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to my channel. I have not vlogged in so long and I am so happy to be back. I feel like I have so much to catch you guys up on. I'm in the process of doing my Etsy shop orders, but it's really impossible to do orders with this little one because she just wants to do everything I do and touch everything I touch and it's really hard. 18 months has been the hardest age ever. Actually, she's 19 months now, but the challenge has started at 18 months. Oh, let's not hit mommy in the face. But guys, this is the first vlog where I can actually say I am pregnant. Obviously, you guys know if you saw my previous videos. If you haven't, hello, surprise, I am pregnant. And not only am I pregnant, we're having a boy, which is literally insane. We're so, so excited. I wish Steven was here. He's actually working like at his job today. He usually he works from home, but this whole week he's like at his office at his job. So he definitely needs to pop on here and share his excitement because I feel like he hasn't been, he hasn't, he wasn't in the gender reveal vlog because he was like hosting and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, we are pregnant with a baby boy, which is so exciting to finally say on a vlog, like normally. We cannot wait for a baby boy. We are just so excited. It's like insane. Like we just feel so grateful that we get to have one of each. Obviously, if you guys don't know, this is not our last baby, God willing. So we really didn't have a preference because it wasn't like, it really didn't matter because we knew this wasn't our last. So if we weren't gonna have a boy now, we could try later or the next time. But yeah, we're having, you can have a brother. You can have a brother. You can have a brother. I do need to do finish those orders, but Brinley wants to touch the beads and that's like the biggest choking hazard. Also, if you guys don't know, I do have an Etsy shop. It is called Ray Baby and Co. I'll leave the Instagram here. I'll also leave my Instagram here. I actually shared the gender of our baby on Instagram before I shared it on YouTube. So if you guys want to keep up with everything, definitely follow me on Instagram. Brinley, no, no, hold on one second. She just threw my spare camera. Why did I give it to her? Don't ask me. If you guys don't know, like I mentioned, I do have an Etsy shop and I share this is really hard to vlog with friendly, isn't it? I sell pacifier clips. They are personalized pacifier clips. You guys can see them here. You can put your baby's name. You can put your, like if you're going to a baby shower, you can put like your friend's baby's name and do it as a gift. So yeah, they're super cute personalized pacifier clips. I also have some that aren't personalized. There's a bunch of different colors to choose from. These are just the two new colors that came out. So I guess I'll give you guys a discount code because I usually always do that. So if you guys want 10% off of my Etsy shop, just use the code baby boy celebrating baby boy to get 10 percent off so yeah definitely follow my instagram ray baby's instagram and go get yourself some cute password clips for your baby but i have so much to catch you guys up on i'm so excited to finally be vlogging again and again the reason why i didn't vlog before was because i was so sick there's like Oh my god, there's so much I have to update you on. This pregnancy was so different than Brinley's. I was so, so sick, so nauseous. I didn't throw up. I was on the toilet trying to throw up, but I didn't throw up. TMI, sorry. But I was so nauseous. And with Brinley's, I was only nauseous for like a week or two. And this one was like six to seven weeks of nausea. And it was horrible, which is kind of what made me feel like it was a boy because it was just so different than Brinley's pregnancy. So I'm in my second trimester now. I guess I'll give you guys a little bump date. I am 15 weeks and one day today. So super exciting. The bump has come out way earlier than Brinley's, obviously because it's my second pregnancy. But if you can see there, this is my bump. You know, it's growing. It's thriving. Baby boy is in there. So I am 15 weeks and one day today. And even if I like, I try to suck in, like I could kind of make it go away. But if I relax, there's definitely a bump. And he's definitely low, which with Brindley's pregnancy, I always carried low. And everyone always thought I was having a boy because of the way I carried. But I guess I just carried low, which I don't mind because I have a short torso. So I don't want it like up my chest. But um, yeah, also another update. We hung this up in the little family living room I don't know but yeah it's from Amazon my parents gave it to us for Christmas so we hung that up I just have to decorate it and that's gonna be a pain and then I have to put family photos on this wall I moved the bench that was here over there but Brinley just took everything apart so that's why it looks like that also I know everything's messy but another update is that we actually put wood flooring in our playroom so we are super excited about that and by the way Steven did do this himself he had no experience but we like saving money and we like doing house projects ourselves because it's more meaningful in our opinion so 
We, um, yeah, Steven did like the baseboards, the quarter round, and the flooring in here. And he kind of just learned on YouTube, and that's what we did. So, this is a huge update. I love it so much better. It kind of looks like a dance studio until we take these mirrors off. But the playroom is kind of just thrown together because Steven vacuumed them up, so we took everything out. But I do need to organize this. Maybe I'll do that today. That's a huge update. The playroom has wood flooring, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna try, I put Coco Melon on for Brinley. So while she's watching that, I'm gonna try to squeeze in one to two orders that I really have to get out. I don't know if you guys care about this, but the mailman comes around like 12 and Brinley doesn't nap till 12. So I have to do orders before then or at nighttime and I am not a night person. I always fall asleep, so that's a challenging, that's the most challenging part is trying to do orders while she's awake. It's just the hardest thing ever. So, she's watching Coco Melon right there. So I'm gonna go into the room and try at least to do one order before she comes and finds me and then wants to get into everything. So, hey guys, I was able to do one order and then she heard me and started fussing, so I don't wanna push it, but I'm gonna get her ready for the day. Really? Brindley, we're all done with the TV, okay? You wanna go outside? Let's get dressed. Yay! Woohoo! You wanna go to the park? No cry. Whoa! Okay, let's put your shoes on. Shoes. Let's put shoes on, okay? Can I put your shoes on? Come on! We're gonna go outside. Put your other foot in. Nice! High five! High five! I got you. Home girl is dressed now. You look so cute. <laughs> Guys, she has been so fussy lately. This age is hard, dude. Let's take her. Let's go outside. Come on, this way. This way. We're gonna go on a walk to the park. Okay. Hey guys, don't know if you can see me, but this is a pretty good setup because I can still push her in her stroller. Oh God. Oh God. A freaking leaf just hit me. I have her in the stroller right now and we are gonna go to the park or something cause she just needs to get out of the house. She's been, I mean I know she's been teething so that has a lot to do with it, but it's really hard to get anything done at this age. Like a newborn, they just sleep and literally eat, sleep, and poop. And then the months, like six to 12 months, they literally just like hang out and chill. But then like once they start like passing a neighbor, I'm getting nervous. Once they start just teething and they can follow you everywhere and pull you to wherever they want to pull you and just fuss, it's hard. It's so hard to get anything done at this age, especially that she only takes one nap now. Before I had two breaks during the day, now I only have one. But of course I love it and I love, oh my God, I'm out of breath obviously love her I love being her mom obviously I don't have to state that but like I love this age like there's so many positive that comes with this age but there's also so much challenges that comes with this age not negative negativity but challenges like 18 months to two years old is hard because she wants she knows what she wants she just literally cannot tell me she cannot she can't like talk she can't tell me so that's what makes this age hard in my opinion. But we are walking now in the stroller. She's in here. Say hi. Oh. So we're gonna go to the park. I'm a little antisocial, so I hope nobody's there because I love just having it to myself, obviously, but it's a beautiful day, so either way, I'm glad to be outside. We made it to the park and the toddler is happy. Are you happy, Brittany? You love the park, don't you? Yeah. Is this fun? You can go down the slide. Go, girl, go. Yay. <gasps> is that so fun? Are you happy? Oh, busy bee. Why don't you go down the slide? There's a slide right there. She said no. I don't want to, mommy. Where are you going? I know where you're going. These are literally her favorites, and she's gonna ask me to go on this one. She's gonna be on it for two seconds, and then ask me to go on this one. You want it? Say please. Please, good girl. Go, go. Go, go, go. Wow, cool girl. No, no, keep going. Keep going, go, go, go. She's 
shake, shake, shake. Whoa. Is that ducky? Oh, get back up. You're sliding up. There you go. Go, go, go. Yay. Want that one now, the RC? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Put your leg up. There you go. Go, go, horsey. Nay, nay, nay. Wow. You're letting go. All right. She's letting go. Good job, Brittany. She's never gotten off by herself. Oh, you want ducky? Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Is that fun? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Good up. One, two, three. Yay. later <sighs> being a mom is hard today and I'm usually you know making it seem like it's easy I don't know what the heck is going on with Brinley I know she's teething she's just going through I can literally cry about it I'm not gonna cry she was acting psycho just she had a lot of emotions she was literally like hyperventilating crying which is I've never seen her do that before and I put her down in her high chair because we were eating lunch and I was gonna vlog, and every time I turned on the camera, she was screaming, crying, so I didn't vlog it, obviously. I'm eating lunch peacefully now, but what just happened five minutes ago? On another level. She didn't wanna be in her high chair. She didn't wanna eat. She was literally throwing her food on the ground. I'm like, literally, you look like exhausted. So I just put her down for a nap. It's currently 11.26. She usually eats lunch at 11.30 and naps at 12. Excuse me, at 12. But it's 11.26 and she didn't eat lunch and she's sleeping. She's like part, I'm pretty sure she already fell asleep within three minutes. So I know she's exhausted and I just hope she has a good nap because she didn't eat. But holy moly, she can't tell me what she wants. Like she's old enough to know what she wants and is aware of her surroundings. But she's not old enough to tell me what she wants. And that is so challenging. I could not... Like, it's impossible to get anything done. So I'm gonna finish eating my lunch. We're having leftover enchiladas that I made for dinner last night. This is her lunch. Half of it was on the floor, half of it is untouched. And then I'm gonna show you guys a few baby boy products that I've been buying, um, like a little baby boy haul. Then I'll show you, but I just need like five minutes of just quiet. Okay guys, I actually have to turn on the fan because it's toasty. So guys, it is two days later, the day that I was filming the clip that you just saw before this, Brinley was not having it. That was one of the hardest days dealing with the toddler, to be honest. And I have so many clips like trying to finish the vlog and she was just screaming, crying in the background. So I'm like, okay, no, like this is not gonna happen. So stopped vlogging that day, just wasn't happening. The next day I hung out with two of my best friends and their babies and we had a little play date. And then there's today, she went to bed or she went to nap early. So I'm like, let me take advantage of my alone time. I showered peacefully, I went pee, I put a bra on and here I am. And I'm gonna show you guys some of the pieces, some things that I've been collecting for a baby boy. Um, ever since we found out we were having a boy. The first place is from Target and I got um, this little romper. How freaking cute is this for summer because he's gonna be born in August and in August in Florida, August, September, October, it is still beaming hot. So I try to like not do a lot of long sleeve stuff unless it's pajamas. So I thought this would be a super cute newborn outfit. And then I also got these pajamas. It came in a three pack. This is the brand Cloud Island and this is newborn um, size. And I love these cause they zip from the bottom and the top and they have like the little things to cover their hands. So I got this cute little tie dye one. And then it came with this one that's like just stars. Then it also came with this one that's just baby blue and like 
a little gray blue color on the ends so super cute the next place is from um h&m so again it was like a two pack so i got him this little thing it's like a little onesie and i remember brinley lived in these h&m onesies because it was perfect so it kept him warm but it wasn't like super hot because it doesn't have legs and then that one also came with this little taupe color also from H&M, I found this t-shirt and I just couldn't resist. It is like a little lion t-shirt and it is so freaking cute. And I love the colors of it, so I had to get it for him. I got it in size four to six months because by that time, like he'll be into t-shirts and um, it'll be summertime, so it's hot. So next place um, this stuff is from is from Old Navy. This is like up to seven pounds, like newborn. So I got him this ribbed little blue sleeper i thought this was super cute and again it double zips from the bottom or the top so it's super easy for diaper changes i got him the same one but in zero to three months so a size bigger and this is just a gray color next um one of my best friends betsy she actually won a 500 dollars giveaway gift card to spearmint baby which is like so crazy so she was so nice enough to let me pick something out and she shouldn't have she should have used it for her daughter but that's just who she is so i was like okay wait i really want this for him so she ordered it for him and it is this little sleeveless little um bodysuit from like spearmint love and it's so cute and i got it in a zero to three months and i just figured for like the summertime this is literally the most adorable thing ever next the rest are just from like random places i got this from presley couture i found them on instagram and brinley lived in these little gowns that tie at the bottom for night times so I ordered him this little blue one and it has mittens to cover their hands and it just ties at the bottom. So diaper changes are perfect and this is actually really, it was pretty affordable and it was like really good quality. It's like super stretchy and lightweight which I want because it's hot here. Another Instagram shop that I found is called Brave Little Ones and I ordered him this little sleeper. It's a newborn sleeper and it's just striped and I like how it doesn't have the footies so you can almost use it for daytime and again it has the mittens to cover and a zipper because we don't really like buttons. So yeah I figured this is super cute for him. Next another Instagram shop. Um, This one actually sent me this um, it's called Nurture for Minnie and Me and they actually are a really cool company because any of the proceeds that they get They like use that money to like feed people in need. So I thought that was super cool So she sent me this set for him. It's pretty much just like an ivory little shorts How freaking cute and then the matching top so I figured this is so cute and she sent it in size three to six months So this will be literally perfect for that time of year Next, I'm almost done. Um, this is from Amazon. I got him a zero to three month sleeper. Again, this one doesn't have the feet covered, which is nice because I can use it during the day. And then I got him this. I think this is either zero to three or three to six months. I can't remember. I think it's three to six months. So I got him this little set. It's just like, I don't know, like a not a burnt orange. It's like an orangey little um, long sleeve top. And then it comes with matching bottoms. So I figured this is cute for fall time. And I know this like shrinks and stuff. Like these type of clothes from Amazon shrinks. So this would be perfect for like a pumpkin patch or something. And lastly is um, this is from Marshalls. And this is actually the first thing that I ever got for him. And again it's one of these little onesies that are ribbed and buttoned. And it's just a cute little onesie. And this is perfect. And this is the size 0 to 3 months. And then I also saw this adorable little jumpsuit romper for him. I thought this was like the cutest thing ever. With And it's a waffle knit material, which I love. And this is in zero to three months as well. So guys, this is all the clothes that I've been getting him. And I know that it's not going to end. And I'm just going to get him more stuff because I love shopping. I also need to shop for Brinley. And I've been getting her stuff too. So I'll have to show you guys a little haul like for toddler girls. Um, I also wanted to mention that I did order a snuggle me. This is usually something I would put on my registry, but they were having a sale. So I'm like, okay, I might as well take advantage and um, get it because this is something I wanted for Brinley so bad. But I ended up using the Daca top that my sister gave me, which I love the Daca top as well. But I really want to try the snuggle me. So I'm so excited to try this for him. And then I got um, the smug snuggle me cover for this. And I got it in this um, the oatmeal color because I figured um, if it's like gender neutral for if I have like a girl next. So yeah, I'm super excited to try this. And then I think the only other thing that I got him 
um, I guess like baby gear wise is the adapters to our double stroller to convert it into a double stroller So I think though that's like the only other thing if I can remember I believe Well guys my camera totally cut off on me. That is pretty much it. I'm going to do orders now um Ray baby orders and I'm gonna end the vlog because I have a lot of orders to catch up on and I really need to take advantage of this time that she's napping to catch up on those so i really hope you enjoyed this vlog please let me know any like video recommendations that you want to see um whether it's pregnancy related like baby boy related brinley related lifestyle related also i want to mention thank you so much for all the support on my pregnancy vlog and the gender reveal videos you guys have been so sweet and like it's just made this whole process way more exciting like knowing like so many people are excited for us so i really appreciate all your kind words none of it goes unread and i constantly read your comments i am just like adhd and i literally suck at replying let like to text messages let alone that but i try my hardest one more thing and i promise i'll start blabbing i'll stop blabbing oh my goodness i cannot speak is that thank you for 47 000 subscribers that still blows my mind i still can't even believe i have more than 10 000 let alone 10 000 plus and don't forget to use my discount code for my etsy shop if you want to shop there that i mentioned in the beginning of the video i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video bye